good morning, good afternoon, good whatever. Whatever it is, wherever it is, just gotta send our love straight to you right now and welcome you to the first edition of Good Talk with your truly intellect. Now, with this now, I run with the intellect. I run with the government name. You name my parents' name, Shay A. Amun. Right? Good Talk with me, Shay. Right, and tonight, we well, don't know who we have tonight. We have Miss Avalon Gomez and we have Latina Mata, mindset coach and and well, Avalon, Avalon is like Captain Wonder Woman. You know, last time we had an interview with Avalon, wow, that interview was different, right? A lot of wisdom was passed for that interview. But now, let's start the show one time. And of course, with this song in the background, this is the instrumental of a local artist. His name is, I just know how to pronounce it, Ab- Abdiel, Abdel, Tia told me how to pronounce it today, but I forgot. <laughs> right, so let's start to get it in cracking one time, no crime. You know what we do? Right here on Good Talk. So we connecting, eh, 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 is you? Let me get a filter, let me get a filter. Hold on, hold on, let me check my audio. Pardon me, pardon me, madam. Allow me to have a filter. <laughs> so everyone, I would like to introduce you all to a close friend of mine. Her name is Latina Marta. No. Latina, um, my hippie friend, you dig? Um, <laughs> <laughs> she is a mind is is a mindset coach, right? A or is mind it a mind? Coach. A mind mindset, a mindset coach. So, Correct. I would like you to introduce yourself to everyone that's tuned in to Good Talk right now. Okay, guys, thank you for having me, Shay. So my name, once again, is Latina Mata, and I am the CEO of True Growth Caribbean and the author of a personal development tool called The Just Me Journal. And I am absolutely passionate about helping women change their belief system so that they can actually achieve their heart-centered goals. Now, stress hmm. on heart-centered Heart. because... I prefer mm-hmm. to do with people who are passionate about what it is they're trying to achieve. Nice. Yeah. In a nutshell. Mm. In a nutshell. <laughs> in a whole nutshell. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So basically. So Marta, on, on this show, right, we wanna talk about today I decided to start with women. Because at the end of the day, we all need women. Eh? Because without a woman, we would not be here. So Correct. I decided to start my show, Good Talk, and dealing with empowerment of women. And for the public, especially men, to get to know the 2020 woman, the new age woman. Not, not the woman from 1995 and early 2000s. No, 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 no. I want the world to know about the 2020 woman. So I want to kick it off with my first question, right? <clears throat> And of course, if anyone has any questions, the phone is a bit far, so you'll have to WhatsApp me. If you don't have my number, well, you'll get it for next time. All right, so, Latina Marta, Miss Mindset Coach. Yes, she. Right. Yes, she am. People know that's the whole name, she am. Sorry. Yes, they know that's the whole Some of them know and some of them don't know. So let's, let's, let's don't rush and to tell the whole world, all right? Let's not all right, let's right. say it about a month. Um, all right. What are, in your opinion, dealing with your clients and seeing what's happening in the world right now, um, what things do you think that's holding back 
a woman from setting her personal goals. Now, we're not talking about finding a work just to pay the bills and you go to work by pay less. No, nothing is wrong with pay less. We got pay less, you know? Nothing is wrong with none of these things. But, you know, everyone has in their mind what they really want to be. And um, we have a lot of things holding us back. But for 2020, what do you think is the major setback for women to achieve their true goal? What they believe to be true. What they believe to be true about themselves. What they believe to be true about their capabilities. What they believe hmm. to be true of what they are deserving or undeserving of. A lot. Everything starts with what you and I, so although we're focusing on women, but it all starts with what we believe to be true. So, right. yeah, what a woman believes to be true is a major part of what's keeping her back from accomplishing her actual goals. True. So, what are you saying is like, if, if in a woman's mind, she's thinking, um, the major goal is to just get a job to, to pay bills and to live she will be stuck in that. But if she decides, you know what? I want to be the next um, Whitney Houston. She wouldn't spoil that goal because, of course, it would, it would be harder. Right? So she might just decide, hey, I'm, going to work, I'm going to work by venture and live that life. So that's, where, that's more or less what you say. In a nutshell, yes. I mean, I'm not trying to go into a big psychology session in, in your life here. But, True. But basically... <laughs> But basically, yes, because of course, what you give, where energy, where energy flows is what, is what you're going to produce, right? So if your focus, if your goal is just to have a job enough to pay bills, then that is what you're going to create. That's what you're going to manifest, no matter, no matter what, because that's where your focus is every single day. I just need to get a job. I just need to pay these bills. And that is what you will create. I mean, as they call me a hippie. You call me a hippie. The only person in this world to call me a hippie. But it's, it's true, though. Because what you're about true. to say might sound hippie-like to you. But right? that, Exactly. But we are co-creators, right? We are co-creators. You and I are co-creators as well as everybody else on this live and everybody else who's tuning in. We are right. co-creators. As a co-creator, it means that whatever you desire starts with a thought. And if all you desire... Is to get a job to just pay some bills and that's all you're going to have basically in a nutshell as she enjoys saying in a, <laughs> nutshell, in a whole nutshell all right all right um i have a next question yeah i just sit around i to think about a few questions to ask you you know um now dealing with a mindset with how to say boy work friends, relationships, you know? How does one juggle all that and still try to live above water, you know? Like, not stress out that much and have all these things on their mind, right? As I, And of course, I'm talking about the 2020 woman. Eh? Because before, before a woman is just home-based, no, or they don't beat me, or they don't felt the thing at my phone, I'm just being real. Um, back in the day, a woman was basically cook, clean, mind the child, take care of home, thing, you know, go out to take your friends once in a while. Not a big thing. But now we have women in coveralls and who can shut down. It's a woman in line to get the plea pass. Then who wanna shut down money? You know, so <laughs> so the thing just changed. So how does a woman know? A 2020 woman. Now when I say 2020, 2020, 2020 and beyond. How does a woman right. deal with all of that? Friends, work, family, well, success, etc. Well, first of all, she needs to unlearn a lot of the shit that she learned before. Right? As right. kids, we are conditioned and we are trained that this is what we have to do and this is how it's supposed to be done and this is the role of a man and this is the role of a woman. But as globally, we all raise as a collective, like we raise on a collective conscious level, a lot of us women realize that there's more to my life than what I was taught at zero, between zero and seven, in terms of what my role could be, or mm -hmm. what my role should be. 
And so once a woman understands that there's more to her than what she was taught between zero and seven, and I've stressed it on zero and seven because that is the point in time where our subconscious mind is where we are programmed basically, right? There's a little side day between zero Thanks. and seven. So, so when a woman reaches the point where she's like, okay, listen, I am ready to unlearn all that nonsense that I was taught. She, there's a type of buzzing in the back there. I don't know if that's a whole setup. I don't know if that's a cactus plant. I think so, why is that that I give it? Why you on my, why you on my cactus plant though? Listen, please, listen, listen, please listen to me. Don't be on my plants, eh? These my beauties here, right? Yes, they all are cactuses, right? Yeah. These are to give me a a, a, a vibe, you know. It's yeah, I'm such I a like, new mood I, for the I, for, I for like good the talking. I like the vibe. I like the vibe. I realize. You sure. That, you know? Well, when I come on, I mean, I real straight. But when I come on, I see this kind of query. I'm kind of set up thing going on there, and I was like, what she had here in a blaze and thing. Anyways, <laughs> so <laughs> I can do that. I know it says that's fifteen. Right? Um, mm. What was I saying? Uh, basically, in a nutshell, a woman, 2020 woman, needs to realize that a lot of the things that she learned when she was younger about what a specific role is and what a guy is supposed to do and what a male is supposed to do is no longer relevant. As all of us become very much aware of what our creative power is in this world, we would start to step into that by envisioning who we want to become, where we're trying to go. What is our power? What is our innate gifts and talents that can take us from where we are to where mm -hmm. we want to be? And once a woman decides that where she is is not where she wants to be, and she becomes very, very clear on what her vision and goals are, it is very easy from that point to start to manifest what she actually desires. So in a nutshell, Again, right? In a nutshell. I'm really not trying to go with some deep psychology here. Yeah, I, I can you hear, know, I can hear it in your voice. You're, you're trying not right? to hippie me down. But continue, 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 continue. But for 2020 woman to get from where she is to where she wants to be is based on some very fundamental, um, some fundamental teachings from way back in the days. Be very, very clear, very specific on what it is you want. Have a vision. Ask for what you want ask mm -hmm. ask for what you want you need to believe that you are going to get what you want you need to believe that you're going to get it then you need to actually put in the work you need to take action to put in the work that aligns with that goal and then you need to let it go you need to detach yourself from the outcome of whatever it is you're trying to create and then you need mm -hmm. to have fun and just enjoy life basically in a nutshell yes because that <laughs> i just described is actually the manifestation process it is it is a power that you and i both have and i think a lot of people just seem not to realize that yes we are physical but we are also very much spiritual and true that is a major hence. part in co-creating yes hence the cactus cacti hence. yes where's the word Cactus, cacti. I, I'm yeah. using cactus until, <laughs> until, until I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a, a, a vision into my second season of Good Talk. I will be bringing in the guy who makes and breeds these cactuses. Wow. Right. Okay. And if you see the type he, watch. I will, put, I will post a video after this live of the kind of his cactuses or cactus or cactus. We will okay. find out the proper, yeah. the proper way. And I will repost it. But anyways, that's done straight. Alright, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Because the cactus is for, is for season two. This is just season one. Alright. Um, if a woman, the 2020 woman, how can you, how would you describe the 2020 woman in a nutshell? I can speak for my damn self and the clients that I support and the women who, who are literally wonderfully made on my True Growth Caribbean page. Mm -hmm. And a 2020, a 2020 woman, True Growth Caribbean style, as well as all the others, right? They are exactly as I mentioned before. They understand their co-creative power. They understand that they 
have the innate ability to create the type of life that they desire by being very clear on the vision, literally very clear, putting in the action work, believing that they are worthy and deserving of receiving it, and just mm. detaching it from the outcome because they are so confident that what they desire is going to be theirs, regardless of the situation. The 2020 woman, me, myself, and those who, who identify with me, we believe that life happens for us, not to us. Somebody write down that last line she now say for me, please. We need to put yes. we need to add that as a motto or something. Woo! What? Is a, I've been it's real. It's a space to stop living from a victim mentality and from living in a scarcity mindset, right? The 2020 woman is in an abundant state, is in a space where they believe. Listen, all these situations that I'm experiencing, all these things that I'm going through, yes, it is very, very hard. It is painful, but it does not mean that all is, all is lost. It means that, you know what, this is something that I'm supposed to learn from. This is something that I'm supposed to grow from. This is why, this is the reason why I started the show <laughs> with you and Abo. Uh -huh. This is the reason why. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I don't want to keep you back. I know you may have one or two calls tonight. And I know those calls. Anyways, you won't go into how much those. No, you don't tell them. All right. So I want to. Um... <laughs> Check out your Guys, oh. if you have any questions, if I talk in too much extra. No, I no, no. You know? you, trust me, you aren't talking too much. Everyone is enjoying the live. Right, heights are safe. The hippie, oh. in your no, don't worry. We everyone un understands your hippie language, Latina. Thank you, Shane. Right, Thank you. um, last but not least, and I would like it in a nutshell how women deal with the imposter syndrome, right? Imposter syndrome, imposter syndrome and self doubt. Imposter syndrome and self-doubt. So first to begin, you need to know what imposter syndrome is. So what? basically, imposter syndrome is personified fear, right? So imposter syndrome is just fear. We just call it, we just call it fear imposter syndrome. And you can call it fear all sorts of things, right? But with imposter syndrome, you basically need to identify, you need to personalize the fear follow that makes sense so basically yeah 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 right before right before you do a major thing or you're about to do something all of a sudden this fear and anxiety does just creep out of nowhere and you're like where did like where did this feeling come from what is worrying me why is this here and we call that imposter syndrome so to deal with imposter syndrome um this is something that i learned from a mindset coach that i had her name is topsy vanderbosch I hope mm -hmm. I spell that, pronounce that. Van der who? Van der Bosch. Don't quote me. I can't spell. I can't spell her name. Right? Um, <laughs> and her, her course was called Slay the Imposter Syndrome. And basically, the first step when fear comes up and it's stopping you from doing the things that you actually desire is you need to mm. identify. So you call it her name. So my imposter, her name is Shelly. She's very out of time, in. Right? She's come up. Shelly! Yeah. Come now, Shelly. Right, Shelly. Not today, Shelly. Shane, uh, your, did you name your imposter? Did you name um, your imposter syndrome? Uh, not yet, you know. Because not right yet. now, right now, I'm living, I'm living the type of life that the imposter syndrome isn't really around. So when you, does you he go? When, well, first of all, you have to decide if he's a male or female or if he's neutral. I feel, I feel is a girl, you know. <laughs> I feel is a girl. My imposter is a girl. And is a red girl, too. Well, you know, that's why you like it, Jay. Where's um, that? Where's that about? Where's that about? Why? But it's you who say it, not me. Listen, this is, is about you, you know. This is about me. Don't get... No, I'm not the I guest am, here. I am trying to share with your audience. I'm trying to help 
them understand fully what this imposter syndrome is, right? Okay. That we're speaking about. So I'm just trying to show you how I process, how I'm in process, how I process Shelly when she arrives, right? Nice. So when Shelly arrives, I am aware that this is Shelly. So I'm like, okay, this is Shelly. Shelly, what's going on? Why are, we, why are we acting this type of way today? What's coming up for you, right? So when Shelly arrives, and in your case, Red Woman, I don't know, right? When, when he or she arrives, we're like, okay, fear is a feeling that is going to be there forever. That is an emotion. All our emotions serve us. So the point is not to just repress it or suppress it and act as though it's not going on. It's to acknowledge what is going on, why are you feeling this way, what are the triggers? What are the triggers that are coming up for you to feel the type of anxiety? And imposter syndrome or Shelley's or Red Bull. Patsy, or Patsy. Right, Patsy, you call her Patsy. Patsy right? Mm -hmm. They show, it, it shows in different ways. It shows through perfectionism. So all my perfectionists here, Please pay attention that that is the imposter. It shows in feeling as though you need to be the genius. You need to be the expert in the situation. Meaning, if you don't know something, you feel as though the whole world is coming to an end. It's mm -hmm. in the, I am a superwoman. I am a superman. And I don't need anybody else to do it. I could do this all by my own. All on my own. Which is another indication of the imposter syndrome. Because that is also not true. And then the true. other part which also ties in would be, you know, just being a lone wolf, like you're just about the place and you're like, okay, well, I have to do this by myself. I have to do this by myself. Nobody else could do it for me, just me. And when these imposters show up in these type of ways after we identified, we have one of two options. We need to ask a little more in terms of the question, where it's coming from, why do I feel this way? Then for safety, we need to create as topsy mentioned or she taught me you create something called a feelings box so a feelings box right you put all your things inside of it that would that would um draw attention to your senses right so when your anxiety raises or when when shelly shows her face and it's so overwhelming i would pick myself up after i acknowledge that she's there and i'll go to my box or my space or whatever and I probably light a candle. I probably might read some type of testimony that a client sent to me before. Things that would appeal to different parts of my senses so that it could calm me. Right? It could calm me. Then, no man is an island. Call a friend. Call somebody that you trust. Call a coach. Call a, message somebody who's a good support system and be like, hey, you know, I really, this coming up for me every time I have to go on a live with intellect, I get butterflies and I feel like if I'm a fraud and da -da -da and whatever, I just making this up shit. I was pretty Well I want to know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw the I saw but the I was just, I was right. just going uh, okay. Continue, continue, right? continue. So you get you communicate with somebody who is a good support system and then you you just become further curious and question when you start to talk to Shelly or Patsy and you say, Okay Shelly I know you're trying to save me right now. I know this fear is because you want to keep me safe. Because imposter syndrome is fair. And fear, the reason for fear is to keep us safe. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you talk to Patsy and you're like, okay, Patsy, I acknowledge that you're trying to keep me safe. But I need you to know that these feelings that you have in here, they're not really cool. Right? They stand in the way of where we're trying to go. And I'm going to reaffirm that the nonsense that you're telling me is bullshit. By doing it still right by doing it still so that it shows it proves that it is actually not true the stories that Shelly and Patsy saying isn't true so that's like a that's like a formula so for yeah recap, to get around it yep so for recap you have not you push you personify the fear and the anxiety you call it a name John Bob Red Girl whatever right Patsy um, <laughs> Patsy then we say not true. It's China doll. It's very funny. Um, yeah, yes, so yes. Eh? Thank you, China doll. <laughs> Thank you. For Sunny Five Fair, we acknowledge that it's going on. Uh, we have a feelings box or something to help distract us in a healthy way. So this is not to drink rums and just do other things that are not healthy in an obsessive type of way or toxic way. I'm saying to do find a healthy way that would appeal to your senses. 
mm-hmm. reach out for support to somebody, a friend or sister, whoever, and then you tell Patsy, hey, I know you're not, you're not feeling okay, and I know you're trying to keep me safe. What's coming up here? And once you work through that, you, you decide to reaffirm that your action is justified. You take the action. If we decide to to cross the road and, and Shelly's acting a fool, for no good reason, or because she's trying to keep you safe, you need to cross the road so that she you can have realize to. Yeah. we don't die. Right? True. And that's basically it um, in terms of dealing with fear. Because fear is an emotion that we would have experienced or will experience until we die. And it's called the imposter monster. Yo, Patsy, go from here now. Yo. <laughs> All right, last question, Marta. When I take a sip of my no name water, I don't have a fancy cup as yet. I'm working on that. If you're trading <laughs> one of those cactus, do mm-hmm. Sorry. You see? Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Anywho, last question. Uh huh. Right. What advice would you give a woman stuck in 1998? Right. She's stuck in early 2000. She's stuck, and she wants to get out. <clears throat> She's dying to get out. What advice would you give that woman? In a nutshell. I want her to to sit with herself and ask herself how does she think her life would be six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, if she continues doing the same thing she's doing right now. When she is very, very sure and realizes that nothing is going to change if she doesn't change, she needs to become very clear on what that specific goal is. And when she becomes clear on what, and you know what? That's going real extra, and we don't have all that time. For you to become unstuck, you need to take action. Very simple. Action brings clarity. So I'll say that again. For you to become unstuck, you need to take action. Action brings Brings clarity. clarity. Yes. So it doesn't, so yeah, you feel stuck. You're like, okay, you have all these options or you feel like you have no option at all or you're just all over the place or you just decide to give up and sit in a corner. But there's this clambering feeling on the inside that is like, oh my God, I want to be better. I want to be more. I want to do more. And it just does not, it, nothing is happening because you fear the uncertainty. You need to take action. You have to meet the universe halfway to have the type of life that you desire. You can't sit, you can't just, manifesting and creating the type of life that you want is not just sitting and just allowing yes you have to allow but you also have to meet halfway by putting in some type of action so for that woman anybody here is listening if you feel stuck if you have something that you can take action on and it can be the simplest thing just do it just do it and i just want to add ladies make sure you're taking action by doing something legal, right? Don't go, no, because you don't know if the woman wants to come out of a relationship or she wants to leave her job and she doesn't know how, she might go and do her thing. So you have to let her know. Use your intellect, eh? In terms of your intellect, use your value system, right? Because you might go and do something illegal by might me, right? And what you do in illegal might be fine for you. It's fine for you because that aligns with your value system. So do what feels right. We right. all have intuition. And I think a lot of us forget that. So we keep giving our power and looking for inspiration everywhere else and looking for the answers outside. But intuitively, we all know what we actually need. Sit and ask yourself, what do I need right now? And go deep. Don't, don't just be like, well, I need $1,000 or I need... A fifty thousand US, like do, like go deep. What do I need? And if you start, and if you start with, I need fifty thousand. Go why and ask seven levels deep. Ask why seven levels deep, and then you will find the true roots of your why. Now, guys, we, we could take this information as well, eh, guys. So yeah, don't, yeah, of course. Yeah, we know it's tonight is about women, but guys. 
Mm-hmm. Right, so Latina? Mm-hmm. Let's get the post to a picture. And then... Hurry up, now. Oh, gosh, you still posing, girl? <laughs> I'm trying to get the cactus to now. Say action. To me? Yeah. Hurry action. up, sir. There's my good side. Oh. <laughs> she wants your good side. Nice. Nice. So, Latina Marta, I want to thank you for giving us this lovely 34 minutes or maybe 30 minutes of your time. Right? So, what are we, what we going to do right now on Good Talk? We're going to have to take a break. Yeah, we taking breaks here. The break is we ending the live and then starting back. That is why we my break, right? So, Latina, I want to thank you for blessing us with this knowledge. You know, and I want all women to be a 2020 woman. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Right, so enjoy your night. And Avo. Line up yourself. We're gonna we're gonna end the live. Let me play let me play my partner song. We're gonna end the live. Request a song. I can request a song. Well, I don't know if I'll have it. But um I do have one request for a and that's um John Legend new song with coffee. I know that's probably not the mood tonight, but I really like that song. So it put that in somewhere now. Okay. I will I will put it in, but I don't want to play any international songs so they cut the live or block the live. All right, does that you just love the live that right? so we're doing strictly local talent, strictly local artists. This artist is called it's Abdel. Abdel, I know he's a good, he's a very talented guy, you know. So let's give him a strong push, right? So, Avo. Avo well, standing guys, in line. Can I go ahead? Right, so I'm everyone. Right. Bye. Bye, guys. It was nice. And you guys, feel free to message me. Send me a DM if you have any questions. Talk to you soon. Do that and follow her at True Caribbean. Jesus. True Gross Caribbean. True Gross Caribbean. Well, I, was, I started like, it. You were supposed to finish, but you forgot. It's like the thing I'm the guest on the show. True Gross well, Caribbean, Exactly. Guys. You are the guest on the show, right? <laughs> so I want to thank you and follow her and shoot her message trust me she helps a lot right we're gonna end the live and come back with avo bye guys nice so we're gonna end it. Avo, you next. Take it back to the crib. Tonight it's all about the lady. Not too much, cause I don't want the neighbors to hear us. Mm. Front seat ride with a M16.